debut of the KTM 1390 Super Duke car as the flagship of the Austrian company's 2024 lineup never left much doubt that other models featuring the old 1290 version of the LC8 V-twin engine would be hot on its heels with similar revamps. Now, the next KTM 1390 has been seen on test, the 1390 Super Duke GT. Before we get too deep into the details, let's remind ourselves what that 1390 engine entails. First up, like most KTMs, the number is only a vague approximation of its actual capacity. The 1390 motor measures in at a genuine 1,350 cubic centimeters, and since the smaller 1290 motor is really 1301 cubic centimeters the increase is just 49 cubic centimeters less than half as much as the engine designations might lead you to believe it's achieved via a 2 millimeters increase in bore up from 108 to 110 millimeters combined with the same 71 millimeters stroke as before conversely the performance increase of the 1390 engine is more than you might expect from such a small change, with peak power up from a claimed 177 horsepower to an impressive 188 horsepower. Historically, the Super Duke GT has had the same engine tuned as the Super Duke R, so it's no wild leap of logic to assume the same will apply to this new 1390 Super Duke GT. A bigger change, at least from the GT's perspective, comes in the chassis. The current 1290 Super Duke GT is still based on the tubular steel frame from the pre-2020 Super Duke R1290, not the latest version. It's a much more substantial looking trellis that puts less emphasis on using the engine as a structural component. For the upcoming 1390 Super Duke GT, KTM has finally decided to adopt the 2020 end on Super Duke R's chassis, which is around three times as rigid as the earlier design, while helping slice around five pounds from the bike's weight. As well as the new main frame, the 1390 Super Duke GT gains a cast aluminum subframe, again mirroring the changes made to the Super Duke R from 2020. The subframe isn't simply carried over from the R, though, as the GT needs more pillion comfort and luggage lugging capability, so it gets its own, unique casting. Below it, there's the same updated single-sided swing arm that debuted with the Super Duke R's 2020 revamp, and the suspension appears to be the same electronically adjustable, semi-active third-gen WP Apex kit that's used on the current 1390 Super Duke R Evo. Similarly, the Brembo brakes and the wheels are straight carryovers from the Super Duke R. When it comes to styling, KTM has long concentrated on distinctiveness over delicacy, often opting for brutally sharp creases and unusual proportions and shapes. The 1390 Super Duke GT is no exception, and if anything, ups the ante with a confusing combination of angles and flat planes in the styling. The matte black finish of the prototype means those shapes evoke the F-117 Stealth Fighter, but a less charitable view might be that it looks like the low polygon count graphics from a PlayStation 1 game. Up front the headlight is a development of the idea used on the latest Super Duke car, with LED running lights mounted in floating panels that bracket the main lamps. At the back even the passenger grab rails follow the sci-fi theme of the rest of the styling, looking like something that should be sprouting from a star destroyer or the sort of boomerang tv antennas seen on 1980s limos given the near finished appearance of the bike and the fact that ktm is known to be preparing a new sport tourer as part of its 2025 model range we can be all but certain that the 1390 super duke gt will make its official debut sometime between now and the end of this year as a key component of the company's 25 lineup <laughs>